It's live now. All right, okay. All right, so here we start. A very good, a good evening to everyone. I got a little confused because it is morning in Canada. Yes, we have a great surprise because this episode of Greener, Happier Tomorrow is with a very wonderful, young, talented plant lover. And uh, as we start, you can always see in, on the screen, we have Master Shivansh Agarwal with us. So as we go with the flow, let's start with the introduction first. I am Rashmi. And as you all know me, I'm a communication trainer. And uh, yes, I have an ex experience also. I used to be a corporate trainer, but now I am with the Srishti Foundation, where we are just trying to uh, preserve our own loving earth. And this uh, particular platform of Green Happier Tomorrow is provided by Parijay. Parijay is not a name anymore. All of us in Tri-City and now abroad, in abroad as well, we all know Parijay. So Parijay has a dream of bringing all the green lovers together and uh, they want to plant their planet green with their vision to bring people close to nature and to provide the common platform for all the innovative ideas to create best out of waste with the motive to promote herbal life under the Go Green concept by utilizing services of women force from all the level of society. Their mission is to serve Mother Earth and our people and training, educating, creating self-sufficiency and reusing, minimizing waste. And as you all know, uh, Ms. Ekta Gupta is with us and uh, she's the founder of Parijay. And uh, she has given us this platform, which is a greener, happier tomorrow, where we meet all the green plant lovers and we uh, share our views uh, and our journey towards it. So today we have a very special guest and his name, as I said, he's a Shivansh, Master Shivansh, because he's in class 10. He's a class 10 student from Canada, and he's currently attending Central Peel Secondary School. He has been striving a uh, passion for gardening, medicine, and arts, and has been he has many achievements in regards to this field. I, we, I would like to hear it from him, so let's welcome. Can we have Master Shivansh with us, please? So that he can, uh, you know, discuss his achievements with us. Yeah. Instead hi. of me. Hi, Shivansh. How are you? Good. So good to have you with us. Shivansh, we would like to hear it from you. How did you develop this passion and what all do you do? What all are your achievements? Well, some of my achievements are being like, I help maintain local gardens in my area. So oh, I've great. like, I've partnered with like many volunteer organizations and I've like really helped them to maintain my gardens maintain my gardens and then uh, my passion really comes from uh, me uh, me helping my parents in my very own garden and helping them see how the seeds thrive in the in the natural environment and see how they grow overall that's nice that's wonderful so who inspired you the most your school or your mother um i would say my mother inspired me the most because she has that's been funny. a big part of my life and like has really passion has really like woken up my passion for gardening that's wonderful good to hear that's great. And uh, we have your mother with us, right? Yeah. So let me welcome Mrs. Minakshi as well, Mrs. Minakshi Agarwal. Kindly tell us something about yourself. You're a beautiful mother, though you just don't look like. But please tell us something about you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for your comments. Beautiful comment, too. So, first of all, um, I would. So, hi, everyone. First of all, hi. I would. Hi, mom, too. Hi, mom. Namaste, mommy. So, I would, uh, first of all, I would like to thank Parijay team for giving us an opportunity to share our views regarding greenery and for saving Mother Earth. So I really appreciate your guys' effort for stepping forward towards uh, this good cause and bringing people together from all over the world, like Canada, and uh, for this very, very, very good cause. So I would an honor for us. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So now I wouldn't stop myself saying that there's a Hindi say uh, in Hindi there's a saying, Main akela hi chala tha, jaani be manzil. Magar log saath aate gaye aur karma Beautifully said. Very rightly so, said. And uh, if I'm not wrong, you have been inspired by your mother, Vijay ji. Yes, yeah, sure, for sure. So that's what I want to uh, tell you that uh, uh, here in Canada, I'm working as an accounting analyst in one of Canada's leading infrastructure company. Wow. 
So, uh, and uh, the this passion of my greenery, my love for greenery and uh, nature, uh, it, I inherited from my mom and dad. Because from childhood, my mom and dad used to grow vegetables and fruits at home. And we had, we really go to grocery stores for buying any of them. That's so really? this makes me to implement this kind of, uh, you know, knowledge and education regarding greenery and plantation in my family too. So I encourage my good uh, kids to, uh, you know, join me in gardening and helping me and my husband. That's great. And uh, Shivan, she loves to do, you know, lawn mowing with her dad. Yeshu used to help me in planting all, uh, you know, vegetate to make a mini uh, kitchen garden. And in summer- Yeshu is your daughter, right? Yes, you show my daughter. All right. So, so as you can uh, see, I can show you here. Okay, can we so now we have a family of plant lovers. Not only one, all of you are good plant lovers. Yeah, sure. Uh, this one. Uh, okay. So here you you can see in my uh, background. Yeah. Like uh, we um, I educate my kids to make, uh, you know, every corner of our house green. So in That's our nice. backyard, every corner is, you know, filled with greenery. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> so this is what, I, and most of, I would say like uh, uh, most credit goes to Shivan's school teachers who oh, taught nice. her yeah, in school how to take care of plants, how to save our mother nature. Wow. And during summers, as you see in my background, that Shivan, uh, used to uh, you love to make sandwiches from freshly grown vegetables at our backyard uh, like cucumbers lettuce spinach and wow. uh, so he also feed his uh, you know friends so this is all about you know our journey like we are regarding plant loving and greenery that's so great to hear and even on screen we can see some beautiful pictures so let's have a look at your garden what all you have uh, done till date so it will be great if you can you know just tell us a bit about these pictures as well well uh, well looking at the first picture we can see that we're actually growing some lettuce in a in a right. very like contained area and seeing like my mom is picking them yeah. and like showing, showing how like uh, nourishing they are and like and really just how fresh it looks in yeah. this natural environment then in my second picture we can see like my mom and dad are walking down or like a very famous like trails in our area and you can see like how much greenery there's like how many plantations of trees there are and like uh, really just how beautiful the natural It's actually a delight to see this, honestly. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you'll be really happy being surrounded with su such a green uh, en environment. And that too, when you have created it, it feels really great. Yeah. So good to see. Let's, have, uh, let's move to the next slide, please. Yeah. So, uh, Minakshi, I would like to hear it from you on this slide because you had quoted something which I want you to tell us. Yes, this is, yeah, this is the very beautiful apple tree from in our backyard. So the first picture is with the apple tree having, you know, the blooming apple tree with the white flowers. And yeah. in the second picture, all apples grown up. We have green apples. Yeah. So that's why we picked all green apples. I made jam out of them. Wow. And we extracted <laughs> juice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really a great fun you know having you know all what we usually have sessions like other than this you know uh, plant when we talk about plantation and all we have other sessions also which are being uh, we like we are doing other sessions wherein you know we talk about sustainable environment and other than this we have some kitchen tips also like you are inspiring me to do much more sessions with you, which you're so talented. You you prepare jams even, and you guys are, you know, encouraging people nearby and you are planting greens. So this is awesome. Hats off. You're doing a great job. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for connecting with us. Please move on to the next slide. Wow. So from so I can see cherries here, right? So yeah. is this your own uh, cherry garden or a cherry tree? Um, no, so so we actually went to like a nearby farm where we actually got the chance to pick these cherries ourselves okay. by by only paying like a little uh, like a little price of a ticket, and we could like see how like uh, how like cherries were in their natural environment wow. and seeing like the big cherry trees and uh, like actually getting a chance to like pick them out ourselves and deciding. That's like, wonderful. I'm feeling jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Because I honestly, I haven't witnessed this yet. I'm yet to witness this, but this looks so amazing. I'm sure your experience would have been really great. So do you do that regularly? 
Um, well, cherries are like a seasonal fruit. So yeah. we usually get the chance to do them around like spring or summer. So and each season uh, you go there? Um, not, 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 not probably each season, like, like every year, year or like year after. Um, then we tend to usually go because it's like a really a fun experience and like really just helps you get your mind off your stress and like just have must a really be, must be. I'm sure I'm sure this is so great I mean it's, it's like it's a delight to watch all this <laughs> so great feel. I'm feeling so great I'm getting connected oh I can see strawberries as well so oh, yeah. is it, oh, yeah. is, it oh. is it in the same same uh, garden as you said no I'm um, sorry okay. um, so like this is like a different place that we went okay. to for strawberry picking and uh and during this time, we, uh, um, so we got the chance to like pick the strawberries actually off the ground and off the farm and okay. seeing, and, and seeing like how much they cost like per pound and seeing like actually like trading with the, um, the actual re, um, like the retailers and seeing from my background, you can see my mom, she's yeah. actually picking up the strawberries herself. True, true. Yeah. Why didn't you share this pic with me? <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> so like, how is the taste like? Oh, well, well, they, well, being uh, firstly in, like in the natural environment without having any of the GMOs or like any of the, like the bad stuff that they might like preserve it, they might put strawberries, it tastes like really fresh and like really new at the time. Just, wow, just this is so nice. Really this is a homegrown kind of So, which plant is this? The hanging one? So, the one our first plant, um, so, so, so these this, are, these yeah. are like a, No, these are strawberries. Oh, yeah, sorry. So this this looks like strawberry, strawberry only, yeah. 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 On the right hand uh, side, I think we have berries. Yeah, mulberries. Yeah, mulberries, and, yeah. And the right okay. side is mulberries. So is this is this your own? Yes. So we um oh, we actually nice. have mulberry tea in in the front of our uh, in the front two, of our house. Two, two mulberry trees. Yeah. yeah. Oh, in the front that's of our great. House. And, so this uh, and this is basically in your front yard, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. This is very nice. Oh, great. Please move into the next slide. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> so oh. is this a picture from your school? Yeah, so this is a, a this is a picture from my school. So in our school, we actually were given a project, and we were given the project to study tower gardens. So oh. as we know that Canada is a, like a country with like many diverse seasons. So this includes like summer, fall, and winter. And so we only get about like two good seasons to actually like plant stuff and actually grow stuff. While the other two seasons are like uh, they have like really immense weather conditions, which makes it hard to like grow trees and like the plants go into sort of like resting mode. So okay. during this season, um, uh, um, our school actually bought these tower gardens and we could see wow. that we could actually grow these plants within the winter too, within our school environment. Okay. Because as you can see, like the, the lights around the tower garden, they kind of act as like our art, like artificial sunlight and they oh. actually help like the plants right. like flourish. Okay. And the tower garden itself is like, um, it's, it's basically like a, whole, a, a, like a homemade like soil, like a vegetation plant as as it keeps on circling the water to all the plants and like we can see that the plants are growing like in a controlled environment we're wow. like without like any underlying risk of like strong winds or like heavy wow. rain that can like destroy them that's a great concept very nice yeah and on the right hand side i can see some red chili some peppers yeah so um our school was actually in the business of growing uh, um chili so that we would actually make our own hot sauce and we would oh, sell great. it in our school and uh, seeing, uh, see how like we actually get our own business from the hot sauce, and we That's made great. like, and we made like a good, uh, good. So good did you of... make that? Oh um, no, it was actually mostly of the teachers because the because uh, okay. students cannot handle like food products as like guidelines and stuff. But okay. otherwise, it was a really fun experience to actually grow them. Must be, I'm sure. <laughs> That's really great. I thought you you tried preparing the sauce as well. <laughs> Oh no! It was, just, uh, it was it was just like more like the teachers because because uh, of like Very some hot, uh, yeah. yeah and like because of some guidelines and stuff. All right. So well, well, uh, well, okay, this is more... at your house. Is this or is the classroom only? Yeah, uh, this is this is the uh, this is also the cl uh, also okay. the classroom, okay. and okay. these are like like our main like a pepper like our pepper. Yeah, pepper. I can see that it's visible. Yeah. That's very nice and great. So like, uh, uh, what do you do? Uh, like this, this is, as you said, this is under a controlled environment. So what do you have to do on a daily basis to uh, uh, take care of it? Like, do you uh, uh, look at the leaves or what? Like, how do you take care of it? Well, well, we take care of it. Like it's, it's like very high maintenance because maintenance, we cannot like let the plants overgrow. So we actually have to trim them a little bit from the leaves, like okay. from the stems, making sure that they don't like actually harm, harm, harm other yeah. plants. Because okay. okay. if they outgrow, then they're going to start stealing like most of the resources from the other plants in the tower garden. So we have to make sure that they are also like, uh, 
keeping uh, keeping uh, like like in the uh, in with each other. Okay. Um, then um, then about watering, so we have to water them like once a week. So we fill up the tank with about like a like a like a I think about like 20, 20 liters of water. So that that water keeps on circulating around the tower garden, and uh, okay. and it gets used up within the within the one week, and we have to refill it every other week. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So, like, uh, do you trim it as well? Like, you have learned trimming also? They yeah, so I, so I, yeah, so I learned about the tomato plants trimming because, uh, um, okay. so we would just, like, take off, like, any, any of the extra branches that would, like, that would um, take away unnecessary energy from the overall plant and uh, just help it grow more tomatoes. That's wonderful. That's great. I mean, I'm, I'm learning so much from you, Shivaj. There's so much to learn. This is so beautiful. Yeah. So we All actually right. had, so this is again pepper, right? Um, so we actually had multiple tower gardens, so like one on each floor, I think. So th so this is like another pepper tower garden, and these were these were like more the newer models. So as okay. you can see, like the artificial sunlight, they're they're a little bit more longer bars, so which can like provide better sunlight to the whole like tower garden. Yeah. And you can see like uh, that like if we keep on maintaining them, we can only get like these little plants where we can uh where we can like see them controlled and not like taking any energy away from other plants. That's great. So you've, uh, you've experimented this with peppers only or you've grown something else as well? Um, we, we have also grown lettuce. Uh, we have grown uh, radishes, I think. And then we have also okay. grown spinach. Okay. In the same model? Yeah. We, oh, um, we just great. rotate that like every year. within. That's great. Region. That's That's wonderful. Next slide, please. Yeah. All right. Oh, such beautiful flowers. This looks like your own house, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely our own house. So this is where actually we, like my mom took the project of like growing our own flowers to make our house like more colorful, give that little bit of that, like the, like the summer vibe. So we grew like multiple types of uh, um, flowers lilies. and lilies, lilies and, uh, it, and they all just look beautiful overall. This is beautiful. This is really nice. So, uh, who maintains it? Your mother or uh, you? All, of, all of you maintain. Well, well, it's technically all of us that that maintain it, as we all take turns. Like every other week, like it's 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 either me, it's either me or my sister that's uh, maintaining it, or it's or it's just or just my mom and my dad. Oh, that's great. Okay, so uh, I was just wondering, like, uh, who does the uh, watering part? That that must be done on a daily basis. If I'm not wrong, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So who yeah. does that's that? Awesome. The, um, that's that's mostly my mother i could say um, okay. <laughs> but like okay. uh, she she takes really good care of the plants and like she constantly gives them water like give them that's a nice. good sense in the sunlight and these uh, look like really some uh, indoor plants aren't these yeah okay yeah so tell us something about i do you know about these plants or only your mother knows about it <laughs> well, well my mother's more <laughs> my mother i don't want me actually to help you yeah. Tell me what all are these. Uh, give me okay. Just name one plant that you. Know. Yeah, just in the center. I think this. No, I mean actually, you thing. will not help. You will not help. Shivan will have to tell us. Yeah. Oh, Shivan, Shivan, oh. okay. Yes, well, I mean actually, yeah. will not tell. Yeah. Shivan, name well, one plant that you know. Well, so no, the no, 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 no! Don't eat. <laughs> you cannot eat. <laughs> Well, um, well, it's, it's usually my mother that takes care of the plant, but um, I usually just help with the watering of them. I usually do like more of the outside work and not really more of the inside. She's saying, oh, name, the, name any plant. Um, <laughs> I think the I think the right side plant is um is a uh, I'm thinking like a I'm some some sort of like a, I'm sorry. Okay, what's the middle? That's one? okay. That's perfectly yeah, fine. So no, that's perfectly fine. I mean, actually, you can tell us about it. Yeah, so first of all, I would like to tell for this, uh, the middle one, because this is Inuk, this is not of a, like grown in India. This is called Ponsitia. So oh. it only comes uh, during um, Christmas time. Oh, so, uh, that's nice. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, its leaves are red. It's beautiful. So, it's actually yeah, beautiful. Still, yeah, still it's surviving, but generally it comes around, uh, I think, October, uh, November, December. Okay. And after January, it survives, I think, up to February. Now okay. it's a little bit, from, you know, leaves are dying. So okay. this is kind of unique. We Every year we used to buy during Christmas because this mm. uh, gives a very, you know, red color Christmas vibe on those Actually, days. Actually, this, this yeah. looks really beautiful. So uh, does, it, does it also produce something or it has only the leaves? Only uh, leaves, it uh, roots. Uh, we can, you know, grow with the roots, not uh, with the cutting, like you can say, we can graft it and then, uh, uh, you know, it will be regrown. No, it's the uh, only, we need roots to grow this. So plant. it has a very limited life. Uh, yes, very limited. So three, four months, you can say, yeah. 
Okay. And the other one is uh, Croton and Croton, I think it's very common in India too. And yeah. beside that Croton is money plant at, at the back of Croton. And on the side, it's a kind of snake plant. I, uh, I read on Google that this snake plant is a very good for uh, giving oxygen. Yes, like we, true. Uh, because in uh, Canada, always we have a heating going on during winters uh, in uh, this, in inside our home. So true. we need that kind of plant which produce oxygen inside. So That's, we have a it's so of wonderful to know that you have so much of good information. I mean, actually, <laughs> I can see that you're nurturing your kids so well. This is so great to know. Thank you. This is all God grace. <laughs> and and of course, your mother's as well. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are blessings from her. All right. So uh, move to the next slide, please. Okay. So this is another indoor plants, right? Yes, these are palm trees and this, I don't know the name of these three plants, but these are, you know, I can cut their stems and uh, I made, uh, the, there was only one plant, but I made three plants out of these, uh, that one plant. Ekta ji knows about it a lot and uh, she's writing down all the names so you can always learn from her. <laughs> Ekta ji, want to say something about these plants? Minakshi has no idea, so maybe you can guide her. Yeah, definitely. The uh, one is palm and pra palms grow from the roots and yeah. uh, whenever it grows with the roots, you have to repot it because the space will be less when, when it, 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 it will fill the whole pot. Okay. And the other one is dracaena. It's a variety of dracaena. Even you can cut its uh, uh, part and you can grow it in the water also. Oh, and that's right. Yes, yes. yes. So, uh, and one thing is very important that uh, uh, growing the roots in water is much easier than in uh, soil. Okay. Roots yeah. Grow, uh, yes. Roots grow faster in water. That's so great. What we do good to know. We, yes. Whenever we want to propagate, usually we uh, initial start from the water and when it uh, starts giving the roots, then we plant it into the uh, soil. Okay. That yeah. I've also good. grown this in uh, the water. I have a big pot, glass, uh, glass vase. Okay. So I've grown these, uh, the, what she named Dracenia. So I grown in the, oh. in the that pot. And then you shifted it to, uh, then you yeah, shifted it here? I'll, you some, I'll, I'll show pot? you. I'll bring that. I'll oh, show you. Okay. okay. Rashmi, I'm not That's sure. Good. It looks like Dracaena. Okay. But, uh, um, it can be some sort of bamboo also. Okay. I'm not sure right. about it. It looks like Dracaena. That's great. But yeah. I think these all are good, uh, good uh, yeah. indoor here plants. Go. Here you go. Oh, this is, this is so beautiful. Wow. Wow. This is so nice. Yeah. <laughs> so these are... How the old is this plant? Old, I think around uh, this, when we moved to around six, seven years. Wow. This is nice. Yeah. And what about these two? Uh, what we can see on the uh, screen? The, uh, the baby ones? Yeah. Yeah, this I, I think around two years back. Okay, okay. That's because nice. I cut the stem of the middle one and then put it another another planter and then it will go. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. That's really good. The, be the best about is that you know about all your plants and you know how to care, how to nurture it, which is very, very important. Usually what happens is that, you know, we, whatever we like, we just buy it and then we, you know, don't care about it and we die and that's I think that's not a good practice so what yeah. which what I have observed that uh, again I would say that Vijay ji is uh, one inspiration uh, whom you know we, we keep learning uh, so many things and uh, she has certainly uh, given that knowledge passed on that knowledge to all of you so which has resulted uh, us you know having uh, connected uh, with each other and knowing so much about uh, these plants so it was very, very nice meeting you all. And Shivansh, I want to know, uh, which was your first plant that you planted? Well, my first plant that I, was, that I ever planted was, I'm pretty sure it was a tree with my school. Okay. Our school actually took us on a trip to, uh, to, so to a local garden where we got the chance to plant our own tree, make our own, uh, make our own sort, of, sort, sort of garden. And it, really, it was a really fun experience with my That's eagle club. And how old were you at that moment? I'm pretty sure I was uh, around 12 or 13 years old. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So uh, let's let's talk with the issue as well. Issue. Okay. So uh, do you also, have you also planted something, issue? 
Um, yeah, so I, when I was in high school, I'm like, I'm now in fourth year of university, but um, oh, when great. I was in high school, um, I was also part of Eco Club and we would go to like local community gardens and um, plant like those baby trees um, um, from like from scratch, like planting them. Then we would also help out with like planting flowers just to make it like beautiful in our um, community. Um, and then, yeah that's like so do you revisit them whatever you plant um so now i haven't gotten a chance since i've been in university away from home okay. um but during summer i like help out with my mom um with our backyard just making it more organized and beautiful that's very nice that's very nice that's great so what do you do otherwise um so in university you mean yeah um, so what are you studying what subject um, I'm studying biotechnology. Um, okay, that's great. Yes, yeah. That's very nice. Good. All right. This was so great to know all of you. And uh, the whole family is a big plant lover. <laughs> and all thanks to you, Minakshi and Vijayji, of course. Yes. Vijayji thanks was telling me too. that, you know, uh, when, when she used to visit you, uh, due to COVID, she was not able to visit. But the, uh, like during our conversation, she told me that whenever she used to visit you, Shivansh uh, was very, very keen about, you know, his plans. And he used to tell my grandma, you have to water this, you have to take care of it. I'm going to school and all that. So yes. uh, let's let's right. hear it from Vijayji as well. Vijayji, you can tell us about Shivansh. Ke bare mein. ऐसे है मैडम जब भी बहुत छोटा था मैं एक बार कनाडा गई मुझे याद है इसने टिश्यू पेपर लिए हुए थे वो लेके उसके पानी डालकर एक छोटा सा उसमें पौधा लगाया हुआ और मुझे बोलता है नानी माँ इसको खराब मत होने देना मैं स्कूल जाऊंगा ना एक तो इसको धूप में जरूर रख देना वो छोटा सा डिस्पोजेबल गिलास था वो उसके अंदर था जी जी. इसको धूप में खिड़की में रखना फिर थोड़ा थोड़ा आप पानी उसके ऊपर डालना है ताकि ये खराब ना हो जाए मुझे अभी भी याद है वो बहुत छोटा था फर्स्ट सेकेंड में होगा ये उस टाइम अच्छा, okay. तो मैं अभी तक मुझे याद है मैं इसे बोलती थी मीनाक्षी को मैंने कहा बेटे उस टाइम ये मेरे को मेरे को संभाल के गया कि नानी खराब ना हो जाए मैं अपने स्कूल से आऊंगा फिर इसको ठीक रखना well i'm pretty <laughs> sure i was really gonna, but, but i think i have some sort of memory of it i think i got like seeds from a some a sort of like fruit then i put them in tissue paper to like dry them and and i thought about like getting like a sprout out of them so i could okay. actually like grow them in my backyard wow that's great that's very nice so uh, shivansh apart from all this uh, do you know like something about um, you know uh, how do you take care of the plants like if you get some uh, do you use some kind of pesticide do you have knowledge about it um well i tr uh, like we do not try to use any pesticides because like as we know like it harms or uh, like it like all, although it's beneficial to our um, plants but it harms our environment because like pesticides can get in the water they affect like our um, uh, water systems and like they can really um like destroy like the wildlife um, around them so we try not to use pesticides and we try to avoid them and just like take care of them um by ourselves by removing our weeds by by hands and like okay. and then uh, using like some some sort of trimmers to like cut cut any other like um plants that might be like harming the growth of our vegetables that's great so whenever you talk to your nani ma do you actually discuss about plants do you learn something from her as well or you yes, learned everything from the school only no 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 like i've, I've like i've obviously learned from my grandma too cuz that cuz she always keeps on sending me pictures of her beautiful like yeah. um so many fruits in her backyards and like i just get really in, uh, like she's doing a great by... job i must tell you yeah. i mean she's an inspiration for all of us yeah definitely <laughs> Like so solely, she is. Yeah, yeah, I mean actually. I'm sorry. No, no, I that's what I'm saying. Yeah, in uh, when Yeshu was in high school, she made a really, uh, you know, great project uh, from, uh, you know, newspapers. They made a recycled paper, so they can reuse that paper by you know, on uh, printing pictures or writing on it. So it's a great, uh, you know, uh, step towards uh, saving our environment. So she okay. can explain you how she made that. <laughs> Please, I would love to hear that. Oh uh, yeah. So um, when I was in high school in and being part of the eco club, um, so like the picture that you see um here is like uh um this is the type of paper that we made out of like old newspapers or magazines that we found um in our school. Okay. So we cut them up into like small little pieces and then put them in a mixture with like some water and make like a paper pulp and then use the mold to separate the paper pulp like in a square shape. Um, and then uh, like 
evened it out with a roller and iron and then um like it was molded perfectly like into a square shape oh. and then we left it out to dry for like one to two days and then we made like these papers and like we put them in printer I don't have like a physical copy now because it's been so long but how was but the feeling oh it was so good it was so exciting I'm sure, because, like, I'm sure. <laughs> into, like, the paper that we made so it was like yeah pretty cool the feeling must have been awesome I'm sure <laughs> So do you also help Shivansh? You, do you guide him? Um, yeah, I try to be insp uh, like inspire him into um, gardening and stuff, but like he's originally like inspired by himself. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. It's in the genes. <laughs> it has been passed on from generations, so I'm sure. Yeah. I'm anything, anything apart from that, Shivansh, you want to share with our audience if you wish to uh, tell something to, you know, uh, maybe kids of your age, you want to give some message? Well, so, some some matches that I would use is that we should you should always look to plant a uh, like a plant in in any corner that you see because like a plant not only helps our environment but it like it really benefits you as well because you get to see oh. your your part corner like your corner be more beautiful and be more like um, ecstatic and see and to see like it flourish and stuff. That's that's a great message, Shivansh. And uh, I'm sure Ekta ji would be delighted to hear that because Parijay also has this dream that every corner needs a plant and that really connects us quite well. Isn't that Ekta ji? Yes, of course. I mean, Akshi ji told, uh, said something that uh, we at our own home, we decorate every corner with the plants. So yeah. that was as synchronizing to our motto that every that's your dream. The plant. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's really... Uh, it's, um, I mean, I will say that it's a gratitude, gratitude Absolutely. to all, thankful to all that uh, now I'm listening this line that every corner needs a plant. Exactly. So you is, know, when, when I, I read uh, Shivan's introduction, at last, you know, he had mentioned that every corner needs a plant. I was felt so good and so connected. I was like, Ekta ji would be so delighted to hear that, that somebody shares the same, same, you know, uh, dream that thoughts. you have. Yes. Yeah, and you I, both have same thoughts. And the best part is like, it is connecting two countries together and and that's what you know we all dream that we should have a green earth we should be able to return what we have taken from earth and when our generation uh, talks about such things and have passion for plantation that gives us immense immensely uh, you know delightful feeling that our generation like i are uh, uh, i would say ki, um, uh, it is in the correct hands now you know the, our generation is going to the right direction and uh, now we can you know uh, I would say that we can easily say that our planet would be saved yes. we would be able to actually uh, plant the earth more greener and we'll have a better lifestyle That's Actually, right. I, uh, I'm recalling a song that Panchi Nadia Hawake correct true so it's like that, that we all have to work together. It's not about some country, some state or some home. Group. Air, water is the basic requirement and we all should work together for that. Absolutely, absolutely. And the humans, humans cannot, humans, not even any, any living thing cannot survive without air and water. So True. we have to work together for this. And uh, I request all the audience and everybody who is watching us on uh, Facebook live and later on they will watch the videos on our YouTube channels and Facebook. I request all whenever they post something, they please use hashtag every corner needs a plant. Because it should go like a slogan. Actually, like, you know, so this is the requirement. This is the need of our. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we are thankful to Minakshi ji, Vijay ji, Minakshi ji, uh, Yishu and Shivansh for talking to us today and you've actually enlightened us on to so many things and Shivansh, a great thanks to you. You are a, our future generation and we are so happy and delighted having, uh, you know, chatted today and yes, to know more on you. It is, uh, you are actually our pride. So we thank are quite you, proud of you, you and keep doing these deeds. You're doing a very thank great you. job. Yeah, thanks for making part of this really very good cause. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Manashi, and, and please yeah. stay connected with us because uh, we have these sessions every alternate Saturday, like we have it on first and third Saturday. So uh, th this is these are the uh, greener, happier tomorrow are the are our regular episodes. And uh, with this, yes, we would like to share our mission as well. As always, uh, Ekta Ji, please <laughs> share about our mission, Triveni. 
uh, please unmute. We are not able to hear you. Please unmute. Sorry, sorry. I'm yeah. really sorry. No, no, it's okay. So, uh, Triveni is basically neem, people, and uh, banyan tree. And these are our native plants as we are, as Indian, we know what is the meaning of Triveni and how it is beneficial to our environment, as well as what uh, religious significance is connected to it. Even in our in, uh, Hindu culture, as well as in Gurbani, Triveni is considered as a sacred. True. And we have, uh, due to lack of space, we are not growing these plants, but these plants are itself as a complete ecosystem. Yeah. So if we want to survive and we have to, we have to nurture other organisms also. So yeah, I, I want to share one thing here, Ekta Ji. Yesterday only I came across uh, an article where I read about People Baba. I'm sure you must be aware. Yes, yes. I, I want to share it with... Yeah, we I want to share it with, with him. My, yeah. We are so in touch I, with him. Rashmi. That's so great. That's so great. Yeah, yeah, in fact, yeah. I want to share it with my audience also. There's one person called People Baba. Yes. Uh, he himself solely, you know, he has planted about one crore people pay people trees Actually, that is uh, give me tree trust and one is Trivini Babaji and we are in touch with him and uh, he has uh, uh, since uh, so many years uh, I think about 20 years he yeah. is planting one tree every day yeah yeah exactly and his, exactly and his whole life is dedicated that uh, people Baba is different and uh, Trivini Baba is another person that's and wonderful. Yeah, it's so and another one is our Ektaji, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that. Uh, yes, I'm passionate. I'm uh, I'm trying to do my best. But yes, when I see them and their work, and I really, I, I mean, unko ek namaskar hai ki wo itna kam kar rahe hain aur hum sab ke liye wo they are inspiration to all of us. See, for us, you are the inspiration because you are connecting us. So that's another wonderful thing that you have been doing. <laughs> Because bringing all of us together, giving us one platform to share and to discuss, that is also uh, an, an applaudable, a commendable job that you're doing, Ekta Ji. Thank you so much for connecting us. And uh, uh, Minakshi Ji, Shivansh and Yeshu, I will expect that we all will stay connected and we'll keep meeting. Um, if not on GHD, it could be another platform, but please stay connected with us. We have, uh, you have you've given us uh, our YouTube and Instagram and Twitter handles, so you all can follow us. And if you have, a, uh, this is for my viewers, if you have any query or if you want to ask any question from Shivansh, Manakshi ji, or even Vijay ji, or even Ekta ji, please raise your hand and you can ask your question. We have this window open for another five minutes. Yes, Ekta ji wants to say something. Yeah. Thank you. Please, uh, one thing I would like to say that uh, as uh, uh, Yeshu has shared that she has done some recycle activity. So uh, Rashmi, as we have discussed that we are very into the sustainable, starting the sustainable living sessions. So yeah. anybody, anybody, Vijayji, I was uh, even trying to contact, Madhla, I will stay in touch. If you have any ideas for the sustainable living, then the Vadnas days, six o'clock are the timings for the sustainable uh, living sessions. So we can, okay. at any time, if you have good ideas that how we can teach, we can share with people to our audience that how we can create something from the waste at our homes. So waste are a lot of things like the plastics, papers, lot of waste that we generate from home. And the idea is basically that our waste is our responsibility. If you have Absolutely. the idea, then stay in touch with us and we will definitely plan the sustainable living session with both of you. And so you should, this is for you. Yeah. Please keep this in mind and whenever you have time, whenever you want to, uh, you are ready to teach the fellow uh, friends how yeah. to create paper or anything else, you know, if you're doing something which you haven't shared yet, if you're doing something good with the waste, so you can always uh, connect us, we'll create another session for you. Awesome, thank one, you. One thing more, Shivansh, I would like to uh, ask you about that, uh, you know, closed environment uh, procedure. So that is basically, is it hydroponics? You're doing in hydroponics, right? Um, cool. uh, um, we're, we're just doing like a vertical tower regarding like really it's just, it's just mostly just like a recreating the environment that we have outside, but inside our classroom by like using like our like artificial substances, such as like our like, our, like artificial light that's, that's basically um, same as sunlight. And then we also have like a controlled like water system where we can like, where we recycle water constantly throughout the tower garden so that we don't actually waste the water. And so it's all, it's all getting used up during like the week that we like have it in the actual tank. Right. So I would like to ask that uh, if the schools are teaching you this concept, how, how would you feel that you, if you feel that, is it uh, useful to you? 
Yes, definitely. It's most useful to me because it really inter it introduces me to the new innovations that gardening has like overcome during the few years. Like, because I remember I've never seen anything like this before. I never even thought of the concept of having like a garden inside my classroom. That's actually possible. And seeing like where, where, where like a tower garden, I've seen maybe in the future we can start growing even a whole like farm in our classroom. And like, it could be, it could be like a really great start to our like the creating gardening like innovations in the future. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Yvansh, I would like to uh, request you that uh, you please share a proper message, uh, like the message that you want to share with your peer group. So and and uh, also to the schools, because in India, in India, these things are uh, quite less and uh, sure. our targets, because since last year, we are also trying that in the bio, in the bio labs, in the schools, every school, every university has a labs. And we are trying that if we can do uh, create some system regarding the vertical garden and uh, hydroponics, where students can learn that how plants grow. It should not be only in the books. True. Exactly. And they should learn in a natural environment, in the labs, that how the plants are grown. The infrastructure should be created. It can be through the hydroponics as well as through the vertical gardens. Yeah. Because uh, in the less space, we, can, we have the technology and we have the options. So if the schools are university, so I would like if you can share this message, you can share according to your experience that yeah. we can share with the other students as well as we can appeal to the schools that they should incorporate the system in their schools. Definitely. Because I feel uh, from the very early, if a seed is sown at the early age, then that seed will definitely grow in the later stage and uh, students will definitely go to the green ground, uh, go green concept. Actually. They will learn the value of food, how it is hard to grow every, uh, every piece of food. Actually. Yeah. So please share your message. Well, well, my message would be to always look for new opportunities that where you see in gardening. If, if you can see to improve somebody's life that can make it easier, try to do it. Because because somebody must have thought of this tower garden idea because they must have thought that in Canada, we can't always grow plants. But so we just always look for new opportunities where you can see them in gardening. Seeing like maybe maybe you can start growing your own, uh, uh, like your own tree within your own house, like some sort of innovations that can really make somebody's life easier and, and help make trees like a regular occurrence within our current world. Because I know, because like due, due to the many like forestry issues during and the most for forest fires are are like our planet is really dying and like we're and we're speeding up the process so it is our job to like must be looking for sustainable places that where we can grow trees and like actually Absolutely. think about new innovations within gardening true very very beautiful message shivansh and uh, so great to know you have such beautiful thoughts at such young age i mean actually something from you as well please yes yeah, sure because I you have be been a very, very inspiring yes. mother. So we would like to, you to share something with the mothers as well. Yes. My, the only message is this. If we protect our mother nature, mother nature will take care of us. You know, it's a simple example at our home. If we keep on uh, exploiting or misusing our mom's, uh, you know, love and uh, maybe take her as a granted. Sometimes mothers say her uh, kids, hey, listen to me. If you listen to me, then only I will listen to you. The same thing with the mother nature. Now we are destroying, sure. we are exploiting mother nature, uh, you know, uh, without uh, like knowing anything. Uh, so now mother nature has got assertive with us. She's saying the, uh, you know, what I think exactly. this, this pandemic is because of we are exploiting mother nature. Yeah. So now she's saying, if you uh, take care of absolutely. me, only then I will take care of you. So we need true, we, true. That's we very need, true. need to protect our mother nature so that our next generation can enjoy. So this way, like in Canada, we enjoy full, um, you know, four seasons like winter, summer, spring, and uh, fall season. So the colors of trees wow. will, you know, change in the fall. Like um, I'll change my background up to uh, for this uh, color. So this this type of uh, greenery. Wow. We can, uh, yeah, we can enjoy only uh, when, uh, you know, uh, we are taking care of nature. If we don't, uh, if we uh, cut trees, how do we uh, enjoy this kind of colors, beautiful colors? So and pictures only then, yeah, true. Yes. Only because, and this uh, gives us happiness. And uh, if trees, of, if we destroy mother nature, the happiness will be gone. And without happiness, we are nothing. 
So the only message is we need to protect us. We need to plant more and more trees. Like we here, we have a very super green neighborhood. Our neighbors on both sides, they are very, they have huge plants like uh, cedars, uh, cherry blossoms, all of them. So we don't need to go anywhere for, you know, uh, this excursion trips uh, to, you know, metropolitan uh, more um, uh, uh, the cities. We enjoy at our home with the beautiful, this greenery. That's very really nice. Beautiful message. Thank you so much. Yeshu, you like to say something? Um, so like, well, my mom and my brother has said like the most important messages. Um, I would just say that um, if you get a chance to like uh, anywhere to save, like, um, like use a sustainable resource, like um, well, for example, in university, I would always do, use carpooling, like not use my own car to drive to places. Wow. Like, drive with other people i'm using public transportation just to save like you know small changes make a big difference so i would just say that like try beautiful get beautiful beautiful i am really inspired vinakshi i'm really 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 inspired you you are not only nurturing your society you are nurturing your kids very beautifully you have actually imbibed very great values in them which is very evident from you know while just talking to them uh, with the issues idea of reuse and carpooling and the uh, shivansh's great ideas like this gives us a very great feel that uh, we have connected to such such a beautiful family so great to connect with you all and uh, yes i would like to hear it from your elder generation as well uh, vijay ji aap ek message zarur dena chahiyega please hame hamare jitne bhi viewers hain aap uh, bataiye aap unse kya kehna chahenge kyunki aapki family se milke hame to bahut acha laga aapki beti aapke nati natin sab sab ke matlab itne impressive hai, hum hue hain inse inke jo messages hain इनकी जो जो इनकी सोच है वो सर्टनली वो ऊपर से ही आती है जिसे हम कहते हैं ना कि जो माँ बाप से मिलता है वही हम आगे देते हैं तो मीनाक्षी जी को भी जो वैल्यूज है वो आप ही से मिली हैं और वो आगे अपने बच्चों में दे रही हैं और इससे पता लग रहा है कि हमारा फ्यूचर जो है वो सेफ है क्योंकि जब ऐसे हमारे बच्चे होंगे तो हमारा फ्यूचर हमेशा अच्छा से ही होगा तो आपसे भी एक मैसेज हम चाहेंगे जो आप बच्चों को या माओ को देना चाहेंगी प्लीज मैं तो यही कहूंगी मैडम जैसे पहले आपको बताया था कि ये पेड़ हैं पेड़ जितने हम लगाएंगे उतने हमें खुशी मिलेगी क्योंकि तो कहते हैं ना कि अगर एक पेड़ को हम काटते भी हैं है ना तो फिर भी वो हमें फल देता है जितना काटते जाएंगे उतना ज्यादा वो बढ़ेगा और उतना ही फल देगा लेकिन हमें उन्हें काटना नहीं है ना ही कुछ उसे क्राप करना मेरे तो बस यही है कि मैं जगह जगह अपने अमरावती में भी यही कहती हूँ कि प्लांट्स को काटो मत और इसको लगाओ जितना लगाया जाएगा आज ही मैं सोच रही थी अपने गार्डन में कि कुछ ये जब बरसात होगी तो छोटे छोटे बहुत प्लांट्स हुए हुए हैं सारे अब लगाऊंगी और पूरे लोगों को देख के आऊंगी और सबको यही कहती हूँ कि आप प्लांट्स लवर बनिए और प्लांट्स की केयर करिए और ये इन्हीं से हमें सब कुछ खुशी मिलेगी बस यही है थैंक यू सो मच विजय जी थैंक यू सो मच आप इंडिया ब्यूटीफुल बनाइए वो कैनेडा ब्यूटीफुल बना रहे हैं और सब मिलजुल के हम इस पूरी दुनिया को ब्यूटीफुल बनाएंगे आज का सेशन बहुत ही प्यारा था इट वॉज रियली रियली नाइस मीटिंग ऑल ऑफ यू and it is it is our pleasure it's our honor to get connected with you i will request you to please stay connected with us and with this we would like to end this uh, particular evening of ours this this has been a very delightful session thank you so much thank you so much minakshi shivansh yeshu and vijay ji and thank you so thank much for ji for giving us this platform we'll stay connected and keep uh, watching us regularly on facebook or through zoom calls we'll meet again on first of uh, first saturday of another month but yes i would like to remind you one more thing we have holi coming up so you should sure you can always take part in the holi because uh, in holi we, we have this contest online only we have uh, in previously we have done two con contest the first one was on lori that was based on lori theme uh, of on designing your miniature garden mini garden based on the lori and the second one was of basant which was again the similar theme that you have to design your garden Uh, as per the basant theme but now the in the holi we have a very great contest coming up wherein we actually want our uh, participants to pay more attention onto the water retention so here you can always you know design something related to water you can either reuse it or uh, tell us how to conserve it so that that would be the competition so please stay connected with us 
and this is for all of you all the viewers and everyone around please stay connected please keep an eye on the parijay page you will see all the details and we'll connect again for the holy contest and for the greener happier tomorrow episode in the first week of march till then thank you so much have a nice thank day you so much. thanks for having thank us you. Thank, you. thank you so much thank you vijay ji thank, thank you everyone thank you have a great day bye bye bye